Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, hey, folks, I'm Platter Video. Series videos I've been doing for the while now. Go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that time I'm doing this, folks. I'm not going to lie. Not only is this my lunch, this is a little bit of a treat for me, damn it, because I had to go there and bum-ass night at work, and then came home, was like, I need to mow the lawn, and fucking I hate mowing the lawn, it's like one of my least favorite things to do, so I spent a bunch of time mowing the lawn, and grumble, grumble, grumble. So this is, this is my, my little self-reward, because damn it, I like me, and I deserve nice things. But... Before I get to that, it's a super simple format, folks. I'm going to try out food and or drink items. I'm going to yammer on about it for quite a while. It's, it's, it's going to be a little bit of a thing, you know. I might veer off on an occasional tangent here or there. Whilst well, I'm doing so, I'm, in, yeah, I'm inside my truck. And remember what I told you about tangents? I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my PM Entertainment shirt. Oh, folks, the things that you don't know about PM Entertainment. PM Entertainment is so obscure that, like, even, like, the people who like obscure films don't usually bring up PM Entertainment, but I do. Uh, PM Entertainment, they were a film production studio that was around from, like, the 80s to, like, I think maybe, like, the early 2000s or so. They specialized in action films, especially martial arts. Uh, they, they weren't... They weren't working with, like, the big-name guys, you know? They weren't working with the Hong Kong guys. They weren't even working with, like, the big American guys. They were they were a little bit lower down than that. Uh, like, a good way to think of it, if you're familiar with canon films, which, you know, they did RoboCop and some Chuck Norris movies and stuff like that. Canon's up here. You know, they got, like, the big film studios up here. PM Entertainment was, like, down here. <laughs> but... Being down here does not mean that they didn't make quality films, especially if you enjoy like the karate and kickboxer type movies that were, you know, prevalent during that era that they were doing stuff. They worked with a lot of incredible people, even if they weren't huge names. Uh, a lot of the guys that they had on on their uh, their billings, man, would have kicked the shit out of most of the bigger name guys. Like you, kickboxing champions left and right. Uh, Don the Dragon Wilson did some work for him. Gary Daniels did some work for him. Jeff Wincott. Um, I mean, just, you know, lots of excellent folks, and I love those movies, so. But anyway, what's my reward? What am I trying for you? Oh my god, it's from, boom, it's from Culver's. Specifically, it's a burger. And we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it, and we're gonna do it. It is, boom, it's a nice looking burger, actually. Get from that side. Oh, yeah. This is uh, the, I think it's like the Smokehouse Barbecue Cheddar Burger. Something like that. The double, I'll, I'll make sure that I get like the, the title right when I do the title card. Um, but I know it's like, I think it's like the Smokehouse Double Barbecue Cheddar Burger or some shit. But anyway, look at it. Look at it. I haven't had a burger in a bit. I love burgers. Clearly, I love burgers. Um, but it's been a little bit since I've had a good burger. And I figured, fuck it, man. Culver's is close by. You know, I got a couple locations around me. I didn't really want to go, like, out of my way and, like, go to, like, one of my fancier burger spots. So, And this is a new item. So let's give it a go and see how it is. I think for all intents and purposes, it's a double burger with some cheddar, some barbecue sauce. It's like some mayo. Are you pickle why are you a pickle oh. no fine god damn it stop with the pickles what does a fucking pickle add to a barbecue burger god damn it and it looks like there's some onion rings son of a bitch i'm so done with pickles man i'm genuinely getting pissed off at this at this point That's really good. That's really good. 
in part because I didn't bite into a pickle. But, see if we can't locate a pickle and eat pickle because pickles. Try with a pickle to get the full experience. I'll say this for the pickle. First of all, it's nice and crispy. You know, it's got a nice bite to it. So at least it tastes like a better quality pickle. With everything going on, it's not as abrasive. I can almost give it to him in this instance. Almost being the operative word. I still don't think it needs to be there. Still think it tastes better without it. But it's not horrible with it. What with the fact that there's so much going on, it kind of cuts through. To a certain extent, you know, it gives it a little bit of a break from, like, the, the very savory nature of it. But, in doing so, it also takes away from the savory nature of it. And personally, I'm a fan of the savory stuff. So, yeah, man. I mean, at the end of the day, they can go over there and call whatever the fuck they want. For all intents and purposes, it's a rodeo burger, which is fine. I just wish more fucking places. Two things. First of all, I wish more places, if they're going to have a rodeo burger, just call it a fucking rodeo burger. You ain't got to go over there and fucking fancy. Just call it. If you got fucking barbecue sauce and onion ring on your burger, it's essentially a fucking rodeo burger. The other thing is, I wish more places would go over there and think more outside the box than just the rodeo burger. Rodeo burger is a great burger. I'm not complaining, but be inventive, you know? And I'm not saying, you know, Culver's comes up with some interesting stuff every now and again, but like, I feel like this, this for me is a menu item that should just be on the menu. I think that pretty much every place out there that does burgers on a regular basis with the exception of maybe McDonald's, cause I mean, they just don't give two shits should just have a fucking rodeo burger on their menu. It's not super hard to make or anything. You got all the shit there. Just have a rodeo burger. That way, when you go over there and you have a specialty burger, you can be a little bit fancier with it. But all that said, this is a good burger. Even with the pickle. Um, yeah, the... Even with everything going on, you're still tasting the beef. And Culver's has good beef. You know, they, they use butter burgers, so it's extra savory. Probably super unhealthy for you. Um, the thing I like about it is that everything works. You know, it's going to. It's, it's you know, like I said, it's a, <clears throat> it's a proven method. Um, everything works. You got, you know, nice texture with the, the onion ring and everything. You know, that's adding its own little thing to it. Like I said, even the pickle is, you know, it's, it's growing on me a little bit. But <clears throat> the main thing is that you still taste every individual thing. The uh, barbecue sauce is a good barbecue sauce. It's not overly sweet. It lends itself to the very savory nature of the burger. It, yeah, man, it works. I Like, it, it shouldn't be a surprise that it works. Because Culver's, for one thing, they do good work. And for number two, it's it's a rodeo burger. Rodeo, bar, rodeo burgers work. That's just a thing. But, I mean, I'm down with that. I really am. I think that, you know, in terms of fast food rodeo burgers that I've had, that is probably, if not the best, then certainly up there. Like, I mean, I don't typically compare them against one another, you know, but I've, I've had some good ones in the past. But at least within recent memory, it's probably my favorite. But two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes and yeah. I mean, for myself personally, you know, I might ask to have the pickles taken off. I might not. I have to, 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 you know, sort of feel it out the day it, uh, when I'm ordering it. I can kind of go with the pickles on this one a little bit. It's still not my favorite thing, but you know. But I can see grabbing this every now and again. 
It wouldn't be like a favorite menu item or anything, but you know, I'd like it if they added it to the main menu. And as for recommending, it's Rodeo Burger. <laughs> If you've ever had a rodeo burger and you enjoyed it, there's no reason to not try it from Culver's. It's a good rodeo burger. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of the week. Money, money, rest of month. Stupendous rest of your folks. You can go there and have yourselves a truly rootin' tootin' rodeo-tastic rest of your life. I mean, I probably wouldn't personally. Uh, I've never been to, like, a full-on rodeo, but, like, I, you know, when I was younger, like, I think it was, like, just some shit at a farm, but, like... You know, they had a couple little things and stuff like that. People riding around on horses and such. You know, I mean, it looks fun if that's what you're into. I, I couldn't have cared less. I think I just pretty much hung around, played shit on my Game Boy. If I'm honest. Well, my, my stepbrother's Game Boy. I didn't have a Game Boy at the time. But my stepbrother did. He had Mortal Kombat too. so... Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But... We do, we can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, it's not always the easiest thing to do in the world. That's why I put try at the very beginning of it. That's very deliberate. Because at the end of the day, folks, you know, we don't know what's going on with the world, folks. Life can be really stressful, really frustrating. It just mounts on you sometimes. You just... Burr! Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholes in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe you're going to try yourself out a Smokehouse What the Fuck Ever Burger from Culver's. And you're going to be like, this is just the rodeo burger and I'll prove it. Then you go over there, you ride up through the drive through on a horse, you go over there and you lasso it, and then you go over there and you do it up like a thing. And you're like, yeah, and you get like the best time. And you're like, ha, I knew it was a rodeo burger the whole damn time. Maybe a clown comes out to go over there and, you know, distract the employees. We're like, what the fuck's going on? And he's like, da, 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 da. Or conversely, maybe don't do any of that. I don't know, Culver's folks are working hard. I <laughs> don't think they need it. Uh, maybe just stop into Culver's and get yourself whatever kind of burger and some of their delicious root beer because their root beer is good. Bye.